Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here. This is a very exciting video for me because finally Ubiquiti has jumped on the zone-based firewall wagon. This is something that exists for a long time in enterprise-grade firewalls, but finally we are getting it in Unify. Zone-based firewalls basically means that you can take several VLANs that have something in common and apply a single policy that will apply on all of them instead of creating several individual firewall rules. In large networks especially, this is so much easier to manage and easy to visualize what is applied and what. Maybe in smaller networks you can achieve the same result with using groups or profiles in Unify, but for large networks, this is a godsend. All right, enough talking, let's see how to configure Unify's zone-based firewall. All right, guys, so this is my Unify console. It's a test dream router I have lying around the house. I've just taken it, upgraded to the latest firmware and the latest network version. We're talking about version 9.0.108. Keep in mind that in the time of this recording, it's still release candidate and things, of course, might change when we go into GA. And if I'll go to my settings icon and security, you will see that there's a new design, a new re refresh design to the zone-based firewall. On your Unify console, you might see a sort of an invitation to switch from the regular firewall to the zone-based firewall. All I have done in this UDR is just to create a few VLANs just for demonstration purposes. And that's it. This is where we start our video. So in order to even begin working in a zone-based firewall, you need to just take a minute to visualize your network and your VLANs and maybe find VLANs that have something in common. For example, in this, in this case, my IoT network, my printers network and my guests network are all VLANs that I know that I don't want to allow them access to my internal networks and the other way around. So that's something that they have in common. So let's start, let's start by going back to security. You can see that there are several built-in zones that Unify has already created for us. For me, I'm going to create a new zone and I'll call it trusted. In this zone, I'm going to select my villains that I considered as trusted or internal, which is my clients and servers and click on add entry and proceed. And then I'm going to create another zone I'm going to, to call it untrusted and I'm going to add in it the IoT, the printers and the guests VLAN, click on save, click add and proceed. So the new zones have been created, the VLANs have been added to them. We can see that we have some sort of a, a, a sort of a matrix or a table. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on it a little a, a little later. But now we just defined zones. We, we didn't even touch on policies. So that's exactly the next thing we're, that we're going to do. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click on create policy. The first thing that I want to define is to block untrusted to trusted. That's the first thing. And let's see how easy it is in the zone based firewall. We just need to select the source zone, which is the trusted, sorry, the untrusted. Define the action is block and the destination zone, the trusted. Everything else I'm going to keep on uh, any, any, any add policy, proceed. That's great. The second policy that I know I want to define is the other way around. So I'll click on create policy and again, block trusted to untrusted and exact same thing I'm going to select trusted of course I do recommend that you give your policies the most descriptive name that you can uh, so that just by reading the rule name or the policy name you will know what it does so the source is trusted destination untrusted add policy proceed 
One more thing that I know that I want to define is that clients inside my trusted zone will be able to talk to each other. So let's click on yet again, create policy and let's call it allow trusted internally and the source zone will be trusted destination zone again trusted the action will be allow and add policy that's it and you can see that how easy it is to create policies and now let's go back up to the table or the matrix and let's see how easy it is the matrix helps us to pinpoint or home in on exactly what are the policies that are applied. Think about a, a, a large network with, se with several zones and several policies. And with this sort of matrix, you would know exactly what are the policies that are applied. For example, if I'll select my trusted zone and I'll go all the way to my untrusted rectangle, I can see that there are two policies that are applied if I'll select the rectangle, it will only show me the policies that are applied. One of them will be the block untrusted to, uh, sorry, block trusted to untrusted. So you will see how easy it is to define or see or visualize what are the proper or the, the de facto policies that are applied. If I'll select trusted to trusted, I'll see that among others, my allow trusted inner internally policy is the one that is applied. How easy is that? And if, for example, I know that there are several ways to do that, I'll select, I'll create a new policy and I want in this policy to block all the untrusted villains to go out to the internet. For that case, I will use the external built-in zone. So I'll call it block untrusted to external, source zone will be untrusted, action will be block, destination zone, external, add policy, proceed. It's as easy as that and just like that, we have created a policy that will block untrusted devices to go to the internet. And if I'll go again to try out my matrix, if I select my untrusted devices or line right here and I'll go to external, I will see the three policies that are applied. One of them will be the newly created block untrusted to external. And we can see in the, in the line that the action is block, the source and the destination. So all the information right there in your fingertips. This is a great way to manage firewall policies especially in large networks. I've, I'm, I'm really impressed with the mechanism Unify has, uh, has created here. And I, I'm always thinking about, for example, the network I have at, at work and how uh, this kind of zone-based policies will make our lives a, a lot better. By the way, zone-based firewall is something that, that exists a lot for a long time in large scale or uh, enterprise firewalls, but now we are getting it in Unify. And now you must be asking, asking yourself, all right, so we've configured all the policies or the, all the broad policies, but what if I do have, for example, specific traffic that I do want for, uh, to allow, even though the policy is set on block, we can still create pinpoint policies exactly like before. If we'll create a policy, for example, if I want my clients to still be able to print to printers in the printers VLAN, for example. So I'll call it allow clients to printers. The source zone will be trusted, but I am going to narrow it down if I'll select network and I'll select my clients. The action will be allow. The destination zone will be untrusted, but again, I will narrow it down and select only my printer's VLAN. And I can even narrow it down further if I'll select a port, if I know the specific port I want to allow, we have a pre-curated list or we can select our own port. And that's a great way to create narrowed down rules 
if we'll need to, that even, even, in, even if they go against the policy. And here's the cool thing that Unify has added, is the match opposite. And we can see that we have it here or we have it here. And that's a great thing. It, it, uh, it's, it's something that uh, exists in a lot of uh, larger scale firewalls and for example, PFSense. If I select match opposite here, it will only select all the VLANs except the printer's VLAN. So that's a great way to keep narrowing down things in firewall rules. Let's select add policy, close out of here. And if I'll select my trusted, if I'll go back to the metrics again, I'll select my trusted and the untrusted rectangle right here. And I'll see that the new created policy shows up where it's supposed to show up. But let's not forget that firewall rules and firewall policies are always processed from the top to bottom. So even though this is just a demo environment, in this specific case, I would need to get to click on the reorder button and drag the allow rule to be on top of the block rule. Click on done so that the allow rule will be processed and only then the more broad block rule will be applied. So this is how we create policies. Again, a very easy to work with mechanism. What I want to do next is I'm going to select to take a device connected to a VLAN on my untrusted zone and I'll connect this computer to a VLAN in the trusted zone and I want to see that pings do not go or do not get a reply and then I'm going to take the untrusted device and connect it to a trusted network and then I want to see ping does the pings do get a reply that means to me that the policies are working as expected all right guys we can see that we have two clients one is connected to my client's network right here and one is connected to my IoT network right here. Now let's jump to the computer on the client's network and try to ping the computer on the IoT VLAN. All right, so here we are on the computer and just for good measure, let's do an IP config to make sure that the IP address is indeed what we saw and it's in the correct VLAN. Now let's try to ping the IoT client and let's see what we get. And we get no reply, which is exactly what we wanted to see. That means that the block, the block policy is working. Okay, so now I have switched the device that was on the IoT VLAN to a VLAN that's on the trusted zone. And as you can see, that's the IP address. That's the new IP address. And now let's try to see if pings do get a reply. If pings do get a reply, that means that our policies work as expected. All right, so let's indeed try to ping the, uh, the client that was on the IoT network, but now it's on the server network. Let's try to ping it and see if we get a reply. And indeed we get a reply, that means that our policies work as expected and that's great. Alright guys, so this is how we configure the, the new zone-based firewall in Unify. This is by the way the official documentation from Unify and I will put a link to it in the description of, in the description of this video. Uh, I haven't switched my UDM Pro yet to zone-based firewall because at the time of this recording it's still release candidate. And if you have a production network, I do recommend that you wait for this feature to become generally available and then some. Otherwise, this is a great feature. It makes managing a network much easier, especially in large networks. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.